welcome back to this new video. I'm really, really excited to show you this actually. It's the first time I've ever featured anything Korean beauty, K-beauty wise on my channel. This is going to be like a big discovery video. I'm going to talk K-beauty tips, a little bit of kind of history and where it all kind of came from, originated from. I'm going to go through some incredible K-beauty products as well and show you how I got this overall very fresh, flawless look. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think my complexion and skin looks so fresh and light. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look weighed down, it just looks so fresh and natural. And that is what K-Beauty is all about, it's like perfected, beautiful skin. Korean beauty consumers are literally some of the biggest in the world. They almost have this social obligation to go out looking their absolute best. It's almost like a respect thing. They want to look flawless and perfected with beautiful, luminous, radiant skin. And so they often have this like 16 step skincare regime that they do. I mean, I often have quite a few steps and there's no way I'm gonna do 16 steps. So you're also going to have your different types of cleansers and toners and exfoliators and moisturizers, plumping things, complexion correctors and co color correctors and everything else. It just becomes this huge amount of different layers. So in this video as well I'm going to kind of talk through a few products that have been created for this need and they've kind of combined quite a few of these different types of steps into just a few just to really cut back the whole regime and make it much more kind of streamlined and just as effective with just a few products. And let's just say I've been using the products and I love them so can't wait to tell you about those. But I think when it comes to K-Beauty just over the years it's become so much more popular um, and it's kind of broken into the kind of Western world and I've been seeing it everywhere recently about really flawless beautiful luminous skin apparently like their skin to almost look like milk or like a pearl or an egg even it's been described as it looks very extremely smooth I mean when you look at the, the appearance of an egg you can see it's like perfect so that's kind of what they're going for. So I've put this whole base and look together today using all K-Beauty products. Cannot wait to tell you all about them. I am in love. I love this whole look. Yeah, so let's get right into this. Before I show you how I create this makeup look, I wanted to show you all the different products I use to clean the skin, double cleanse and prep the skin before the makeup. So the products I'm going to be talking you through today are all from the Korean beauty brand Eborian. Eborian really are experts in the whole Korean beauty field. The brand was created initially in 2007 to kind of introduce Korean beauty more to the European market but it's also perfect for Korean women who just want to really reduce the number of steps that they're putting into their whole skincare regimes. I mean, I'll be talking a lot later about the CC cream, which is kind of like the hero product of Iborian. It's a bestseller. It's one of the products that really helped the brand find fame, as well as the BB cream, again, which I'll be showing you later. I feel these two products are just fantastic products that need to be known so much more, and yeah, both hero products of the Eborian brand. So I'm going to be showing you those later. From what I've heard in the Korean culture, it's about respect and portraying yourself in the most beautiful way possible. So the chances are you won't see that many Korean women leaving the house without much makeup on or at least a great base. So they have a 16 step process when it comes to skincare. So many different processes and layers that they put on to really help the appearance of their skin. So Eborian has come up with almost like a four step process that includes so many ingredients and Asian skincare techniques that have kind of honed down a lot of these steps into a few to really make the whole process so much quicker but just as effective. So starting off with the black cleansing oil. This has charcoal inside it so it's a very purifying oil. When it comes to double cleansing it's all about using an oil first, wiping that away and then using a water-based cleanser to kind of finish the full clean. And with all the beauty products that we tend to use now, especially in the Western world, it's all about really making sure the skin is cleaned and all impurities are really removed. All you do is just add a little bit of this onto your fingertips, massage it onto your dry face and then you can use water to wipe this away. But the next product that I want to tell you about is the Konjac sponge. I've seen quite a few of these recently and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I love the feel of them. These are made from like an Asian type plant. They contain bamboo charcoal as well and it's a very gentle exfoliating sponge but they're wonderful when you've got something all over your face like a cleanser. You can really get in there with this and massage everything away and get rid of all the impurities and everything else off the face and I love that it comes with strings so you can hang it up and let it dry because this goes almost like rock solid when it dries and then if you leave it underneath the tap for like three minutes or just keep squeezing it under a tap it just goes nice and spongy. But it's such a great little tool, I'm really obsessed with these, I think they are fantastic, especially for using with cleansers. 
So after the black cleansing oil, I then went in with the double mousse, uh, gentle cleansing foam. As you can see in the cutaways, I added two pumps of this to my hand and then just, again just massaged it onto dry skin. You can leave this on the skin for like 30 seconds if you want to before then wiping it away with water. Again, you can do that or like I did, you can use a sponge just very gently, you don't have to really rub hard with this but it just helps to remove all the product. This just really refines the skin's texture overall. After I used it my skin just felt so much more smooth, so cleansed. I mean this is a water based cleanser as well. So those two used together are kind of a perfect double cleanse overall. Then after that the Ocean Seng Concentrated Lotion for Instant Moisture. This in the western world I would see as almost like a very hydrating toner. You just add like three to five drops of this onto your palms, warm up the product and then just pat and pull the product into the skin. This is like a boost of hydration and comfort back into the skin. It just preps the skin ready for moisturiser over the top. So before I tell you about the moisturiser I'm going to go right back to the beginning when I had no makeup on so I can start the whole routine from the moisturiser. So here is me from the past. So my face is all cleansed as I just showed you so now I'm going to get straight in to my makeup. But these honestly are such a godsend, I love them. So honestly, I just feel so excited to sort of show you all of this. Plus, I've never done, I don't think I've ever used any K-beauty products ever before on my channel, so this is really exciting for me. Okay, so after my double cleansing routine, and um, obviously my kind of hydrating toning routine as well, I'm gonna move into some moisture. So this is the Borean Bamboo Creme Frappe it smells amazing. This is like a hydrating, nourishing, plumping step for the skin. After you've cleansed and you've had that little bit more hydration back into the skin with the Ocean Seng, you can apply this to your face every single day and night, and you can also use it as an amazing base for makeup. So that's what we're gonna do today. It smells so fresh. It's like a really fresh, like sorbet kind of feel. That's how I'm kind of imagining it. My skin is just soaking that up. Like that, I can barely feel that now, but my skin feels more plumped and like, literally like it's just full of juice. <laughs> so now we can move on to the makeup. So this is the Aborian Glow Cream, or Creme. So it's Illuminating Face Cream Ultra Radiant Effect. The idea with this is that it kind of like blurs the skin, offers a really incredible complexion right before you then add more layers on top. So I'm going to apply this with my fingers and it's just so pearly, really pearlescent formula. So I mean I can see that already actually. It already looks like the light is bouncing off of it. I mean you could apply this with your fingertips, you could apply it with your, a brush if you really wanted to but I think for this the hands are perfect to be honest. It's got such a lovely smooth and soft texture, feels amazing. So smooth and beautiful and amazing makeup base, I can tell just from the texture. Okay, next in the regime is the Aborian CC Cream. This is in shade Claire for me, it's a high definition radiance face cream. So this is going to moisturise, it's going to enhance the overall look of the skin, it's going to reduce any imperfections, it's just going to really help to make the colours and tones in the skin much more flawless and perfected overall. So with this I'm just going to use it on my fingertips again really easy. The cool thing about this as well is that the colour, so it comes out almost like a white cream and then when you start to apply it onto the skin it's almost like the colour starts to adapt to the shades and the luminosity of the face. And like as I'm applying it my skin just feels really smooth and really soft. It feels like it's just really perfecting that top layer of the skin as I'm applying it. It's just got a very lovely subtle nude shade to it. And honestly, I'm really happy just with that. It's just added the most like subtle changes to my complexion. And now, the final perfecting base layer. And that's gonna be the Aborian BB Creme. So I'm gonna say cream instead of creme, because I'm English. BB Cream. So this is a BB Cream which has won so many different awards for Aborian. It's like their star product. And also BB Creme Nude, BB Cream Nude. So they're both about that very natural, glowing, beautiful finish. I've actually had the pleasure of speaking with the co-founder of Eborian, Kathleen Berenyi, on the phone the other day just to ask her a little bit more about K-Beauty and how Eborian came to be and it was so interesting and so inspiring actually. So Kathleen was telling me that Korean women do like to go and have like lots of different treatments done and microdermabrasion. It's all about really trying to perfect the skin at all times. 
but that these ladies would then have to go straight back to work and their face would be, I mean, as you guys probably know, if you've had treatments done, as I know as well, your face is really bright red and it's quite unsightly and you just want to go home and hide yourself just for like a day until it all goes down again. So the skin's sensitive, it needs to be healed and it's not the right time to put on foundation. So the BB cream kind of came from that requirement from these Korean women that just needed something that they could wear back to work that was breathable and quite weightless and would just really help with the colour correcting and make them look really flawless again. So it was the first BB cream in the European market which I think is amazing and yeah and obviously with the skincare benefits inside of it it's kind of like this skincare makeup hybrid perfect for models, models totally fell in love with it as it was kind of moisturising and also gave you all the benefits of makeup on the top so it's just one of those like epic products really. I'm just going to show you how this applies. I'm going to use the BB cream nude gonna apply some to my fingers and I'm gonna apply it with my hands and then probably use my brush afterwards this is a wonderful shade for me look at that you can barely see it, it just literally looks as though do you know what as well actually I feel like using your hands with this really actually benefits it as well because I feel it almost warms up the product so what I'm gonna do is just apply one last layer with a brush so a little bit more coverage in the center of my face I'm just going to use a brush for that. It's any kind of foundation brush you have. Okay, so I'll take off this now that my base is down. Can you see that glow that's just kind of coming out of the skin? But yeah, it doesn't look oily. Like I have a lot of other products that I use that get this kind of look but still look quite oily and I've got to mattify them down with powders and take away that shine. Whereas this just looks radiant. Like I probably wouldn't powder this personally with my skin to, I mean my skin is usually quite dry to normal so, but the overall effect, it looks flawless, my skin looks completely smoothed um, like the complexion looks amazing okay so I'm just going to kind of finish off the face this is amazing, I love concealers like this that have this little sponge applicator I've already been using it, that's why it's a little bit dirty um, and you just pop it up at the end and it adds more product into the top and as you know, I like a lot of concealer, so it just feels so soft when it goes on. You can use any kind of blending sponge or your fingertips or a brush. I just like using a little mini sponge. This just helps to lighten and brighten the under eyes, get rid of any kind of extra dark circles. At this point, I just want to come a little bit closer just so you can actually see the effects on my skin. Okay, so this is the texture and appearance of my skin at this point. Like really smooth, you can see this luminosity. Like that looks so lovely. The colour's great, there's no cakiness, there's no dryness, it just looks really radiant. Just to finish off the whole face now, I'm going to use the Copper Glow. This is really beautiful, it comes with a little sponge like this that you can use to kind of pat on the product which you can do. It's almost like a coppery sheen product. Now you could use this all over the face I think with this kind of colour and it would just add even more luminosity and radiance to the skin. Or what I'm going to do is put it all over and then add a little bit more to kind of like these areas. Just to almost bronze up a little bit. Also help us to warm up the skin a little bit as well. Just adding a little bit more now just onto my cheekbone area just where I usually apply a bit of bronzer and this just adds a very natural sheen it's the cutest little product, I love it, look how pretty that looks on the skin. Again, it's really radiant, really flawless. Just for a little bit more colour on the cheeks, so I'm going to use the Pink Perfect Blush. Look how cute this is. Remove this little section, it's keeping everything all locked in tight. Stick this back on, and then all the pink will start to seep through into the little sponge. So cute! Just uh, walked out of the room, came back in, and Alex just said that my my skin and my makeup looks gorgeous and natural. So there you go. What a compliment. Do you know what? I'm just going to go over my eyelids actually with a bit more of the copper glow, just to make this my kind of look. I want it to be really natural, but still have a few little bits that I like to do with my makeup. So I'm just going to take a little brush and just sweep that over the lid a little bit more, just for a little bit more intensive colour. It still looks really, really natural. I'm just going to like blend that up. And the last Iborian product I want to show you is the Rose Infusion Lip Oil. I'm just going to add a little bit of this to my lips. It's 
is a very pink, plumped and kissable pout. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go off camera, do my brows, put on a bit of mascara and maybe just line my lips a little bit for more shape, as you know me, and I'll be right back with you. I am absolutely in love with this look. I have not seen my skin look this fresh and this natural in so long with just a few different products and like I said I just put on a bit of mascara, brown gel through my eyebrows so nothing at all perfected, it's much more natural and I just put a little tiny bit of liner around my lips because I just wanted to define the shape a little bit more but I've just left the oil on there and I mean the fact that Alex noticed as well how natural it looked is, I mean it's a big compliment, it just shows how good these products are how much more fresh my skin looks in comparison to normal so I'm honestly like blown away like I said I've been using a few of these products for a while kind of testing them out but to kind of pull them all together and bring them into a full look for you guys that's what I kind of wanted to do a full Iborian look kind of like a first impressions for you guys and also to show you kind of like how I use them the main tips on how to use them a few more things about K-beauty just kind of make it a very K-beauty centric video and I have loved filming this so I really hope you like this overall look so every single product that I've used on my face, I'll leave it linked down below in the description bar. You can also pick up the products at Space NK, House of Frasier, near Victoria, Selfridges, also online obviously. And for you guys who watch this video, there is also 20% off special limited voucher that you can use on the website. Just use the word in the fro, all capitals, all one word. And that'll get you 20% off the website as well. So I love that. That is everything for now guys. I really hope you love this really fresh face look. I hope you've learned something new about K-Beauty and also Iborian. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the subscribe button of my face right here to subscribe. I'd love to have you back. And I will see you again soon. Bye! Mwah.